Welcome back. I hope you've enjoyed working on this design project. I know that it's a little challenging. These big houses certainly have a lot of space and uh, we've got a lot of program that we need to try to put in a better way than uh, was originally there. So we've got a 2,700 square foot house. Uh, it's in suburban Philadelphia. Let's have a look at uh, the existing plan and then quickly go through and I'll show you what I think we should be doing to this house. So here we've got the existing, as you know, we've got uh, formal living, formal dining, a study, a big kitchen and a family room and what Matthew suggested is that he wanted us to work with a rotated floor plant or stair so that we could get rid of the uh, that angle so what I'm going to do is try and block out where I think makes the most logical sense for all of the the, uh, the uses and if we look at the front start thinking about it at the very front we know we need to get a study at the front and also the uh, the formal living space and so what I'm going to do is actually reverse those and use the stair as a kind of datum to set up those regulating lines and to say let's put the study there. We have an entry here, we need to put a closet in so that we uh, do something like that. So we've got a more of an entry space and then that lives, gives us a formal, small formal living area that's at the front that lets us look out these two windows here. We've got the entry where we have an entry space and then we can come this way, go into the living room or that way and into the study. Um, looking at the back of the plan, I'm going to put the kitchen over on this side and leave the family room here and have the formal dining here because I think it's nicer if we're circulating in to come into that dining space and then go one way or the other rather than having that kitchen in the middle the way it originally was with the dining separate. I don't think that that's particularly nice. And I'm going to take a little bit of space off right here for the, um, for the back entry and use a little bit of this space here for the, the uh, powder room. Let me just erase a little bit of this, put these back like that. I'm going to, uh, I think just on the other side of this window, have something that comes down as a solid wall so that we can have a kitchen that faces out to the garden with a big island. We can then use this piece here to have our powder room like so. Scale's a little bit off, but you'll see it in a minute. Like that, and then we have our table over here in the informal eating area. We can then use this space as dining and uh, living. I need to add a door in here for the back entry, uh, lining that up like that and having a walk-in closet over here on the end. Let me just show you, this is a complicated plan, so let me just show you the final, um, the final drawing with all of the furniture in it. You can see that we've got the study, we've got a new small uh, formal living area here. We've got the dining, formal dining, informal dining. We've got a big kitchen that looks out to the out to the garden. We've got a family room with a television and a fireplace. And then we've got a back entry with a large walk-in closet at the very end. I've taken out this window and I've added a window here. So that's what I think we should be doing for this, this plan. This is a complicated one. These single family houses always are. Look forward to seeing what you've been doing and we will see you tomorrow with a wrap up on in detail, thanks.